part four to the Great Awakening map. Release free energy. Free energy absolutely exists. I'm fully convinced because of Brian O'Leary, which I'm going to move myself right over here because that is where you're going to find it, right there. He has a great interview on Project Camelot. I actually have it on my page, so if you just like look through, you'll find it. The Hollywood Occult. You cannot convince me that there is not some dark, demonic shit going on in Hollywood. Let's look at all their symbolism that they show. George Carlin said it best. It's a big club and you ain't in it. Snowden and Julian Assange. If you don't know about them, you should really look into it because they are true American heroes and patriots. They have tried to show us what the government has been doing behind our backs. Antarctica is a crazy one because look up the Antarctic Treaty and explain to me how all of the countries in the world basically can't fucking agree on anything, but they can all agree that we cannot fly over Antarctica. Explain it. Chemtrails are absolutely real. I'm sorry. You cannot convince me. Like, literally just look up at the sky. I know they said don't look up in that fucking movie, but like, y'all, you literally just need to look up. I live in Florida. There are very beautiful, big tropical clouds that come through that I see normally. And then there are ones that are very flat, look like they've literally come from a plane, and they stay in the atmosphere for a very long time, typically blocking out the sun. I know it sounds fucking crazy, but literally look into it. It's called solar geoengineering. They used to not have a term for it, but now they're slowly but surely just going, oh no, this is fine. Aerosols in the sky. Don't worry about it. I think we should be worrying about it because the government does not care about our health. Fluoride, literally made from petroleum, just like most of our modern medicine. Now, I am not going to say that modern medicine is not important. Now, that's not to say that modern medicine isn't important. I'm literally taking prescribed eye drops from my eyes right now. So there is a place for it, but for the most part, Big Pharma likes to take your money and make keep you sick because you make them profit. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I am almost 100% certain that Google originally got its technology from the CIA. And they manipulate you by not putting things in the autofill suggestion. So try looking up some of the things on this map, and I promise you, Google will not finish it on the autofill. Not because there's no results or not because people aren't looking for it, because you have to know exactly what you're looking for in order for you to look for it. And most of the time, they won't have it come up. So like this entire map, when you look it up, it's just going to tell you it's propaganda. But if you go on DuckDuckGo, it'll give you the link to the source so you can actually have this map. Anyways, there absolutely are suppressed technologies because in the Brian O'Leary video, he basically says that the elites actually have access to free energy technology. I'm not as worried about it because Randall Carlson on the latest Joe Rogan said that he's been working with people on free energy technology. So let's not worry about it, but we should be definitely participating in global mass meditation. That is hopefully what I can achieve by making my page have a bit more following and we can do that together. That's why I have the Conscious Creators Discord. Please join. Fingerprints of the Gods. I have the book. I have admittedly not read it yet, but basically I'm pretty sure it disrupts the timeline that most archaeologists try to say is what our human history has been. Anyways, running out of time, so I'll see y'all in part five.